Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys the top 10 third party app widgets for the home screen of your iOS 14 device. Now, of course, iOS 14 is still on beta and these apps won't be available to the public until iOS 14 gets released to the public and of course the widgets as well. But if you have iOS 14 beta on your device, you will be able to test out these apps by installing them through test flight and be a participant on the beta programs of these apps. Just know Notice that the number of people that can download these apps on the beta program is limited. So if you're trying to install it and it says that beta is full, that means that you won't be able to install it because a ton of people did it before you. So in this video, I will show you guys 10 of these apps that have some really, really cool widgets for the home screen of iOS 14. Starting things off with Aviary. Now this is a Twitter client that allows you to display the recent tweets on your Twitter feed on the home screen through widgets. They will have two different choices. You will have a two by four widget as well as a four by four widget. Now the first one will display two recent tweets. The second one will display four of them. So if we go to the home screen, you can see right here we have the widgets. Now the bad thing about the home screen widgets on iOS 14 is that you cannot actually interact with them like for example, if we could like like a tweet here or retweet a tweet directly from the widget, but we cannot do that anytime you tap on one of the widgets, all it will do is just go ahead and open the app. Next up, we have debit and credit. Now, this is an incredible app that allows us to track your budget, your expenses and all that. And it offers six different widgets for the home screen of your iOS 14 device. So we'll have this two by two one for the budgets. You will have the four by four one for the budget right there and then you will have the scheduled transactions you will have a few of them right here so you have a ton of different widgets that you can go ahead and apply to the home screen of your device now the cool thing about these widgets is that you can also customize them so here we have three all of them are from the same app and you can see these all are different colors now you can do that simply by tapping here and going to edit widget once you go there you can choose the pin budget if you want to see a pin budget on the tweet on the sorry on the widget and then you can go ahead and go to color right here and you can change the color of the widget directly from here as easy as that you can have any color you want on the widget and you can have different colors of course on different widgets from the same app next up is an app called training now this is a fitness app that allows you to basically track your goals on training exercises and all that it offers two different widgets you will have the small one here and you will have also a two by four one now these will show you the problem progress of your goals. So if we go to the home screen here, we have the widgets and you will see we have both of them. You can go ahead and tap on one of them to edit the widget and from here you can choose which goal that you have set you want to see there now by tapping there it will show you the list of the goals that you have set within the app and of course you can choose whichever one you want to see the progress of it right here on the home screen widget next up is parcel now parcel is an app that allows you to track your packages so all you got to do is of course just enter the info for your packages through the app and you will have the option to track them through the home screen widgets so you will have three different widgets you have the 2x2, two 2x4 two, two and the 4x4 four four one. Now if we go to the home screen you can see here we have two of these widgets and you can also go ahead tap on one of them and you will have also the option to edit it. So what it allows you to do is just choose like which package you want to track. So you just go ahead tap right there it shows you a list of the packages you have entered through the app and then you can choose which one of them you want to see right here on the home screen on the widget which is really really cool. Now the good thing is that most of these widgets that I'm showing you guys offer you like different customizations you can change their color change their appearance and also choose what information you want to see on the widget next up is music harbor music harbor is an app that allows you to follow your favorite artists and will let you know when they will release a new track so you will be the first one to be noticed when your favorite artist is releasing a new song and that can also be done of course through the widgets that this app has to offer it has three different ones of course this the two by two the small one we have the two by four and the four by four now on the home screen here you can see these look really really beautiful you will have all the info right there it shows you the date 
when your favorite artist will release its new song. Also, you can see here on the 2x2, it shows you like three different songs that will be released alongside with the dates when they will be released. Next is Widget Wizard. Now, Widget Wizard allows you to add two different types of widgets to the home screen of your iOS 14 device. You will have the agenda and you will also have here health and activity. So if you go to the widgets panel and you want to add, you can see we have four different ones right here. So you will have like two different ones for the health and activity and you will have two different ones for the agenda. Now, of course, the health and activity can be like imported from the health app and the agenda will be set through the app through Widget Wizard. So you can see right here on the home screen, we have here the first one, which is health and activity. It shows you your steps or the distance that you have walked. You can press right there on it and you can go ahead and tap on edit widget and you can choose if you want to see steps or distance right there. And you will also have the second one here, which is the agenda, which will basically show you your upcoming events that you have set through this app. Next up is an app called Schoolie. With this app, you will be able to track your timetable as well as the work that you have to do. And that can also be done using the home screen widgets. It offers two different widgets right now. You will have a two by two and the two by four widget, which on the home screen look really, really beautiful. And you can see right there will display the information, your timetable right there alongside with the schedule. Next up is a very well-known app called Streaks. Now, Streaks will help you just keep track of your habits, create new habits that, of course, will help you a ton. It has six different widgets that you can add on the home screen of your device. So you will have the dots here. You will have single tasks. You will have like all kind of different ones that have like different layouts and all that. So if we go to the home screen here, you can see we have the, some of the widgets of this app. We have actually two of them. You will see here all the stuff that you have to do and you will see all the streaks right here. Really, really cool and they look really beautiful. Now you will also be able to customize them. Just tap and hold on them, tap on edit widget. And from here you can see, you can show streak numbers. You can go ahead and change the theme here. So to light and dark and all that. And you can choose the page number that you want to see right there on the widget. So really, really cool. Just tap and hold and you will be able to customize the type of type of task right here. You can show the title. You can change the theme from here. Very, very cool. These are customizable. That's a very nice feature to have on a widget. Of course, you can basically customize it any way you like and make it fit better with the home screen of your iOS 14 device. Next up, we have Dark Noise. Now, Dark Noise is an app that offers you some really high quality sounds that will help you relax or sleep or whatever you need. So on the widget, you can see here, we have three types of them. We have the two by four, four by four, and the two by two widget. Now you can see right here on the home screen, we have the widgets, which look really, really cool. And you can also go ahead and customize them. So tap on edit widget. You can choose here, which of the noises you want to see first. Of course, you can tap on one of them to choose which noises you want to see. Also, you can go ahead and change the theme right here. So you can apply different themes and of course, change the look of the widget on the home screen. Now, if you tap on one of the noises, it will go ahead and play the noise within the app. And last but not least is Unwind. Now, Unwind is an app that will help you basically guide you how to breathe in and out and help you relax. And of course, it has widgets three of them, we have the usual setup here, the two by two, two by four, and the four by four widget. Now on the home screen, you can see they look just amazing. You can see that layout right there, pretty, pretty cool. And the design is just amazing. So you don't have any options here to edit them, but you will see also your current streaks here, your total for today. And of course, if you have more information on the bigger widget, you will see way more information than this. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are some really amazing home screen widgets for your iOS 14 device. Of course, as I said, as iOS 14 is still on beta, these are on beta as well. So they won't be able to be released to the public until iOS 14 is released to the public. But the good thing is that you can be a beta tester of one of these apps by installing the test flight app on your device. And then of course, clicking the links right down below on the pinned comment to one of these apps if you want to test them out through the beta testing program with test flight. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 14 videos. I will see you guys on the next one.